To off topic today, I'm joined Two. by Jeremy Dooley, Jack Patillo, <laughs> and Matt Bragg. <laughs> Jack, go with the All intro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, they didn't count it. us in today. Oh man! Well, no, they is, definitely did. Don't let Jack lie to you. They counted in the video, but then it is no counting for the intro. It was just hey. like. Jack. Are we even oh, wow. live? I'm not we're convinced that we're live right now. I don't like, know if we're live count. or not. We probably are, but you know what? Just oh, roll it. Who knows? Run with it. They just, they just. It well, can I'm be not. for us if we're, if it's not live. Falling yeah. apart. It's our own Michael Lindblad quit, and now everything's gone to <laughs> crap. It's what? just it's <laughs> the worst. So I don't know if you guys anyway. heard like last week. Not all of you guys are doing off topic last week, but last week I went on a little bit of a uh, just a small, tiny, ah, little rant about uh, Fast and Furious. Quite big. Yeah, just a little, Maybe, a little bit. Rant. We, we, we a little, little bit. bit. We a little bit. Yeah, yeah Han, just a little bit. Of, I hear you like that Han guy. Yeah, big fan. But um, you know, a lot so, of uh, yeah. a lot yeah. of um, that's the one. Like blog websites are reporting about Christopher Nolan and how he uh, like. I'm gonna read this one from Collider. Christopher Nolan professes his love for the Fast and Furious franchise. <laughs> Damn. All right. Nice. What's hey, part Uh-oh. one of like? Are they, are they going official? Of, of oh, I feel justified. You know what I mean. Part two of this. Part one. And okay. And reveals he has a soft spot for Tokyo Drift. I oh. wonder why, Nolan. I'm telling oh. you, man. He's about it. Yeah. I yeah. I love Tokyo Drift because the movie starts with um, Zachary Ty Bryan from Home Improvement playing a high school kid. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean. I mean it, and he's like early 30s at that point. Very clearly. It's like, Zach, Zach Ty Bryant? Okay, that's weird. And then, yeah, and he's a high school kid. <laughs> he, was, and he wrecks yeah, his, his, his Mustang or whatever he is. So I feel, he's a high school yeah, it was like a car. red car. It wasn't like a red Mustang yeah. or like a Corvette or something like that. I just loved yeah. Tokyo Drift because it had the uh, Evo 9 MR. And that was back when I was like really, really into cars. And my uncle had an Evo 8. And I would ride with him on the weekends with... Like the uh, NorCal Evo, which was just like big Evo groups. So it'd be like 40 Evos like going down the street to the track. And I would just go with them. <laughs> I was like, oh, I love this. Nice. Nice. Oh, man. So much. Uh, I'm just looking through Kotaku right now. And it's all cyberpunk. Everything's cyberpunk. Oh, yeah. People's, apparently people's dicks are clipping through their pants. Good. Which is a thing. Oh, yeah, man. I, I saw one. Does, your, does that... yours not do that in real life? Or... Right. Just clip right through. <laughs> okay. I mean, every once in a while, does. Fredo was there for it. But, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no, it's just like the image flashed into my head <laughs> for some fucking reason. It's stored somewhere in my it's, brain. It's in a file in there. It's, it's in a, a file Flash in a drawer too. that just marked <laughs> yeah. penis. Right. And I'm imagining just, someone in Fredo's brain like, ah, okay. It, the image there. of Jeremy's there penis pulled up in my <laughs> brain so fast. Yeah, it's, it's there. Just like it's a always whale on the back of the water. Okay. Um, and but I saw that glitch happen to someone, but it was with like breasts and the, and a shirt. So it was like they had a shirt on, yeah, yeah. but you could still see like the nude outside, like the nipples <laughs> coming through. And they were like, "Well, this is the greatest glitch I've ever seen." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what plans does everyone have during the break, during the holiday break? <sighs> <laughs> that says I it just, all yeah i just like yeah. dude i, I just want to i mean that is like this year, I, right? I think yeah i think that's the thing though it's like i want a time where i don't have plans like just just stop no i totally just, get that like yeah that makes sense to me a time when you don't have like i want that too like i brought it up i think on chit and chat but like cat and i have never like got up on christmas day and then like sat in our house on christmas morning you know yeah. like with a tree and everything like that and then like oh we'll go see family like later it's always like all right christmas morning let's go see our parents like my parents and we'll like open gifts or go see your parents and we'll open gifts there in the morning and stuff like that it's never just like we're at home so it's gonna be nice yeah. to do that for once like mm. and then not go anywhere and not go celebrate stuff and i'll call my grandma and go merry christmas hang up and then and hang yeah, up yeah. Right, like, yeah. you know great no parties or anything just christmas yeah. at home fine with it 
Disney Investor Day just kicked off, so I'm going to be watching this for a little bit. If he, if he, if I go dark, it's because of that. Zach, <laughs> some, some hot pops up. You let me know, man. Dude, I got, oh, man, I got into a Twitter fight last night. Oh, I, classic, <laughs> Jack. Nice. Why, why are people dumb on the internet? I don't, I don't get it. Why are people so negative? So, uh, yesterday, if mm-hmm. uh, if you happen to be watching our stream yesterday, it was a lot of fun. Uh, SpaceX launched a brand new rocket down from uh, South Texas. Uh, it's this brand new one testing it. They've done some small, like small scale tests, but this is the first time ever they launched up to 12 and a half kilometers in the sky, like 15,000 feet in the sky. More than that. What am I saying? A lot more than that. Anyway, 12 and a half kilometers in the sky. And then the thing went all the way up and then it belly flopped down. It's so like a skydiver. It like floated down, had two wings or two little like flaps on the top, two on the bottom, kept it where it's belly flopped down to slow itself down as a reenter, like theoretically in the future reenters the atmosphere. And then as it did that, it then like flipped and uprighted itself and tried to land. Um, didn't land, but they weren't expecting it to. Like they hoped it would, but they weren't expecting it to. And then all of these news articles came out about like, oh, you know, this rocket in South Texas, Texas exploded and it failed. And it's like, no, no, no. Like it did, it did ninety percent everything it was supposed to do, and probably more. It just didn't happen to stick the landing and explode. And so it's like people like, oh, you know, like there was an article was like. The uh, you know the landing failed. There was no one on on it though, so like no one died. And it's like, well, there was never gonna be anyone on it. So you framing it like that makes it sound like oh there was a massive failure. And it's like no, no, it was actually a, a really huge success. And um and then anyway, so lot, lots of people like no, it clearly it didn't, like there like there's nothing wrong. It did fail. And it's like, but that's not the point. Like yes, it didn't. It wasn't a hundred percent perfect the first time. But that's not what they're trying to do. They're trying to get as much data as possible. And I just, it was so freaking annoying dealing with people because they're like, well, no, it failed because it didn't land. It's like, what other rocket has ever landed by any other company? Like, I like, no, I like the, Jax's dealing yeah. with people, like Jax's spokesperson. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I gotta deal with all these people now. It, but it's just so frustrating. <laughs> and it's like, like, you know, everyone assumes like, oh, well, you just love Elon Musk. It's like, Elon is just, he's a designer at SpaceX. Like, there are so many other people. Quinn Shotwell runs that company. And there's so many thousands of people who work on the stuff there. And he might be the face of it, but he doesn't run it. It's like Steve Jobs. Like everyone's like, uh, you know, if Steve Jobs was alive now, I think people would treat him very similar to Elon Musk, where it's like Steve Jobs is kind of an asshole and Elon Musk is kind of an asshole. And like, I don't agree with him on a lot of things, but he's still progressing and he's still making the future of stuff like Steve Jobs put cell phones or put, you know, iPhones in everyone's pocket and turned, you know, basically made a computer that everyone cares around and like carries around and that's huge. But now, like, he had some radical thoughts and some really dumb stuff he would do. And I think nowadays, it would, people look at him differently. And I think Elon Musk is just kind of, he's a weirdo. He's a hes a freaking weirdo. And he has some strange Correct. thoughts and he says some dumb yep. shit. Yep. And it's like, you know, I respect that he's done some really cool shit. And I love that he's trying to get, you know, combustion engines off the road. And I love that he's trying to go to other planets and he's like advancing space exploration personal thoughts and views some of them are really stupid and i do not agree with them but at the same time he has a great company that's doing some really cool stuff and people it's kind of assume like well you can't dissociate one of the other and it's like there's probably people at rooster teeth i couldn't get along with that like maybe have different thoughts on things that i completely don't agree with i work at the same company as those people and it's like i don't know who they are but i still work at the same company and it's like you can do that you can dissociate yourself and anyway it's just so damn frustrating when people it's like oh well you must you must hate you, you like what what you how do you support Elon? It's like, well, no, no, he's an idiot. He's an idiot. You know, like he'll do some stupid stuff. But at the same time, he's also a freaking genius. And it's like, uh, anyway, I get frustrated by that. And so I spent a lot of time oh, last night just like just like screaming at a wall. It's like, well, no, it failed because it didn't land. It's like that wasn't the point. If 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 the hundred things they wanted to do and they failed on two of them and they succeeded on 98, that is a wild success. But you see those two and like, well, it didn't didn't do it. And it's like. But, anyway, they, but the thing is, what's happening right now from you is everything they ever wanted. Oh, I'm yeah, posting yeah, that a hundred percent. Absolutely. And it's just like, but it's just, it's so frustrating though. It's like, we're making so much amazing progress and we're doing some really, really cool things. And like SpaceX and everyone's like, well, NASA should be doing this. NASA's funding this. Like NASA is helping pay for this stuff. Like we're working in conjunction, NASA works in conjunction with SpaceX like they do with other private companies. And like, that's why we have the Dragon 2 going to the space station because NASA helped fund that to send their astronauts to the space station. It's like, this isn't all, this is all a conjunction. People are like, well, my tax dollars shouldn't go to that. It's like, NASA spent billions and billions and billions of dollars on the SLS, which is their next rocket. And that thing has yet to be put together. And SpaceX has passed that already. And anyway, that's just 
it's just a lot of a lot of frustrating things where people is like they're they're hell bent on not seeing progress because they don't they don't agree with someone and it's well, like yeah. this it's is not this is for your own good and prosper you know what I'm saying it, it's I mean, it's you know what I'm saying it's the, man you know it's final the exact frontier. same argument of like well you know I don't think I should wear a mask you know it's like because you know like everyone else is wearing masks like I I don't think I should though and it's like no it's this is for the greater good like this all all positivity all going to, yeah. Anyway, well, there it is. So, do there it is. They're anyway, winning. They're no, winning I, I, right I now. You, That's anyway, why I don't the, do my social the, media. Dog. The, the star, the Starship launch was fucking incredible, and the whole thing was amazing. We were streaming yesterday during it, and I was, I was just sitting there, just watching it, and just in with wide eyes, and was freaking out. It was incredible, and uh, what they're doing is badass. And like they're on, like already the next one's ready to go. Like they're ready to clean off the landing pad where the one exploded and bring out the next one to try it again. So it's really, really badass. And I, I applaud SpaceX and everything they're doing. It's, it's such a cool company. And um, yeah, so I'm not getting paid for that or anything. I just, I just think they're cool. So anyway, I want to go to Mars. Let's go to Mars. Everyone. Hello, Larry <laughs> in the chat saying, sorry to hear your rocket failed, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's I just, just it's all, the, all the, all the, all the people are like, well, you know, like, you know, uh, SpaceX is not like not following the laws. They you know they're not following what NASA does. It's like they do everything that NASA tells them to do. Like they follow every guideline that NASA tells them to do. And they anyway, it's just it's frustrating because you hear people want to want to shit on something. And it's like no matter what you say, they're going to shit on it. And yeah, just, you got to just not yeah. give a fuck. It's, and it's like, oh, well, you're a fanboy. It's like, yeah, I'm a fanboy, but I still understand when things go to fault, when things go wrong. Like you look at like Boeing right now is developing a new rocket to, to basically work with it with NASA and Boeing and Boeing got a fuck ton of money from NASA to develop this new system. And SpaceX got a little bit of money and SpaceX has done everything they were asked to do. They, they tested, they succeeded, they've accomplished what they set out to do. And Boeing is just taking more money and just keeps getting more and more money to try to fix what they broke. And, uh, and everyone's like, well, SpaceX is getting subsidized. Like, well, yeah, but every company mm. that works with NASA, I mean, they, ha I mean, they, they're mm, using government preach. facilities. They have to check out, like, they can, you can't just like roll Get up to, to like space, uh, like you know, <laughs> Cape Canaveral, and be like, "Hey, we're gonna launch a rocket." It's like, no, everything gets checked over by NASA and Boy the government. Jack dropping you can bodies do. left and right out here. Uh, <laughs> anyway. anyway, no, I feel, so, I've, 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 yeah, I feel, no, I, I feel, I feel you. This has been yeah. fun. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Love you. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy. Die hard. <laughs>